Hello guys, I'm making this video to talk about the animation quality of Dragon Ball Super. It's true that the animation quality has been very disappointing, too many sloppy frames and overall it wasn't too smooth at all. Though the animation quality was bad, I think people wouldn't get so mad if they watched it on Blu-ray or better yet wait for the dubbed version. Because they already fixed a lot of frames in the DVD release and generally the refined dub version features way better animation. I think this is the first time so many people are watching the absolute raw version just the day the episode is getting released thanks to the internet. And some fans are actually ending up overreacting to it. And most of the complaint features the screenshots of the absolute sloppy frames some of which has already been refined. So, I think if we consider the refined version, a major part of the complaint becomes invalid. But then again, there are some fans who are saying that the animation quality has no problem at all. If anyone complains about it, about it he is not a true Dragon Ball fan and whatnot. And they are actually comparing the animation quality of Dragon Ball Z with Super. So basically, they are using screenshots of bad moments of Dragon Ball Z and comparing with that of Super. Firstly, you just can't fucking compare 90s quality with 2015s. Even after so many years, if we have the same problem, it's a negative side. And Dragon Ball Z had a very good quality for that time. It was released and overall character, it was released and overall the character movements and everything were way more smooth than Super. I often feel characters in Super lacks definition a lot. The character movements are flawed in many scenes. It's like the same movement is repeated by a fighter repeatedly without any change. It's just like they are not putting any real effort in making it and compared to anime like One Punch Man, Super is lagging way behind. Taking, this year, take it, taking the year of release in consideration, Dragon Ball Z had a very decent standard compared to that of Super. And many fans think Dragon Ball Super would have better quality if it got rid of Toy. That's something next to impossible. Dragon Ball defines Toy and, and they are not gonna let it go. At least I don't see that happening anytime soon. And it's not like Toy can't produce good quality animation. I think Resurrection F was extremely good and I could find nothing to complain. So I think the only way it can get better is if Toy wants it. I think two major reasons why the animation quality was so bad could be they didn't have enough time or budget to do it properly or they are concentrating on upcoming arcs and because the fans are all fans already saw Battle of Gods and Resurrection F the story of Dragon Ball Super till now was quite point pointless to many fans and it's actually true to some extent many people I know skip this episodes being bored to be seeing the same thing all over again but since the manga wasn't yet very ahead, I think they just wanted to proceed and get the team together. Now from next episode, almost all the Dragon Ball fans are going to start watching it again because the Champa arc is starting, that is we are getting a new story. And Joy knows that. I heard they're running ad campaigns massively on Japan, advertising the Champa arc. I think this is where they should take things seriously and I really hope that they will improve the animation quality now. Even the writer himself, Akira Toriyama, complains about the animation quality in a recent interview. Everyone will be following Super now and it's their time to set things perfect in order to be as good as DBZ. So I believe animation quality will be better in the Champa arc. Uh, if not very good, it will be at least better, be better than what we have seen till now. Actually, episode 27 was quite satisfactory, overall hinting quality improvement. Let's hope for the best. What do you think about this? Let me know your opinion. Subscribe for daily updates.